What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Um, just because I'm on break doesn't mean I'm going to not do this. <laughs> I'm not forgetting about the episode commentaries anytime soon. <clears throat> but anyways, um, but I am on break now. So what I'm doing basically is just relaxing, playing some Zelda Breath of the Wild because it came the day after <laughs> I started the break. It came in the mail, so that was like perfect timing. And... Um, so yeah, it's break time. So basically what I'm doing on break, what I'm really doing on break is, um, I'm taking some time to come up with a lot more matchups because, I mean, I do have over 40 different matchups planned still. I still have over 40 different matchups, but the problem is I barely have any of them researched so far, so I need to take more time to research them because I work on these episodes way far in advance. <clears throat> Like, almost half of the episodes so far were, like, leftovers from fictional fights. And then I was researching more while doing those, and... Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so Croc vs. Banjo is the most recent one I researched, um... I think I researched it, like, a couple weeks ago, actually. And then I was doing the final touches while writing the script, the final research touches, like, double-checking... ...to make sure I didn't miss anything. That's basically how it goes, like... I researched things... Uh, weeks or months in advance or something, and then I write, and then, um, I keep all my notes or all my mental notes or whatever and all the stuff in mind, and then when I'm ready to do the episode, I write the script, and while I'm writing the script, I go back and double check. Like, a quick flash double check, so it's, that's pretty much how it goes, and it works out really well because I can alternate between episodes and get them out quicker. <coughs> It's not like I'm taking only a couple days to research each thing, since there's only a couple days in between episodes. Don't worry. I'm not rushing it. Mm -mm. Oh, there's stuff stuck in my throat! Mm -hmm. uh. This is not helping. Um, so, let's see, what is there to talk about? Oh yeah, Croc vs. Banjo. I've actually never touched a Banjo-Kazooie game, believe it or not. Um, all the research is based on walkthroughs and let's plays and just observing myself. Um, because I never grew up with a Nintendo 64, I grew up with a PlayStation, so Croc was my dude. Um, so I really actually wanted Croc to win because he's so, he's so under-recognized. I said that in the comments of this episode and someone actually thought he was Gex! Ugh. Come on, guys. Why would it be Gex? There's a huge difference between Croc and Gex. Croc has quality. <laughs> Croc has quality video games. That's the difference. Oh, come on, I'm only kidding. I'm sure Gex has some good games somewhere. I've never played Gex, so I don't know. <laughs> well, joke's on you, I've never heard of Gex either. So I thought Gex was Croc. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Uh -huh. it's not working. Um, uh, so yeah, there are a lot of play- that's why there's a lot of PlayStation Classics on universes, because almost no one ever recognizes them for some reason. Like, there are some really huge PlayStation icons, like Ape Escape and, um, uh, yeah, Croc was pretty huge back then. There's Frogger. There's this cool Frogger game on the PS1 that was pretty big. And people loved. Ape Escape especially. Ape Escape was huge. Ape Escape even had like a little crossover minigame with Metal Gear Solid. Ape Escape was huge back then. I don't know what happened to it. I hope it comes back soon. Like the traditional Ape Escape, not like the Million Monkeys one. Ape Escape PS4, please. But yeah. And my dog's barking. I don't know if my parents are home or not, but... Oh, well, either way, I'm going to continue. <sighs> this is a really sad commentary. I'm just rambling on. And then coughing up things every two minutes. <sighs> um, so yeah, hopefully I do get to try out Banjo and Kazooie some other time. But it's probably not any other time soon because Rare was bought by Microsoft and, um... So, Banjo Kazooie games are, like, on the Xbox Arcade or something. And I don't have an Xbox... Well, I do have an Xbox 360, but I don't have an Xbox One. And I barely play the Xbox 360 because it's a, it's such a terrible console. I cannot stand Xbox. I don't know what the appeal people have in it. I don't... I honestly don't know. 
anyways, Gruntilda soup down. I mean, one thing, one thing the Xbox is doing better than the PS4 is, um, backwards compatibility. They're doing really well with that. Like, PlayStation 4 just has this crappy PlayStation Now thing where you just, you don't download games, you stream games. You stream P PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, and just other games and all that. And it's it's so laggy because it's stream the entire thing relies on your internet connection. So even if you're playing a game that doesn't require online play, it's still gonna slow down because the game is being streamed instead of downloaded to your system. It's really bad. Can they please just get rid of PlayStation Now and put all these classic games on the PlayStation Store? I mean, they have PS2 to PS4, they have a whole section, but their selection isn't good, they have very little games, and none of them are, like, good. They have Ape Escape 2, and <clears throat> Psychonauts, and Twist of Metal, but that's about it in terms of the really good, appealing games that they have on the PlayStation Store for PlayStation 2. It's so sad. And I checked on the PlayStation Store also, and they don't have Croc for PS3 either. What? What? Well, why do they love Croc? Um, but anyways, this commentary is just about done because I can't think of anything else to say. I'm going to go relax, come up with more matchups, do more research, play more Zelda, and work more on universes. And see you next time. Uh, Leopold the Brave, out.